Hi everybody, this is David C. We just wrapped up our cafecito here in Chula Vista. That big building back there is a new hotel conference center that they're building at the Bayfront at J Street and A Street Marina area. So, but um, our cafecito here is about building building bridges and pe bringing people together. Uh, today, the word of the day today is storytelling. So that's why I'm taking a break here to do a little short video about storytelling. Um, you know, we had storytelling. I mean, Dr. Seuss did it so well as a kid, got us learning about green eggs and ham and the cat in the hat. And then we, you know, we run into all these other stories. I mean, who, who remembers reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Those stories. Uh, movie the movies are all based on stories, right? But did you know business and business relationships, stories is just a strategy that you can do to build those relationships. You know, we do business with people we know, like, and trust. But the good thing about storytelling and connecting with your audience, it helps in those business development and those sales strategies that you're doing. The more you st tell stories, the more you get connected with people. Uh, there's a fact that I do, people are more, uh, how you say, people are more, uh, God, I can't even say it. <laughs> so people will remember your facts about your business 20 times more, as somebody said, if it's told in a story. Meaning that they'll remember what you're talking about in your business if you're telling a story as opposed to just telling facts. A friend of mine in Cafecito always would say, facts tell, stories sell. So when it comes to business, and it's not just about that hard sell, it's building relationships, but telling a story in that relationship. You know, it's it's building that con that connection with the audience, you know, sharing those emotions of a story, you know, getting the audience hooked in your story. And then that story will ask them, will lead them to ask more. You know, they want to know more about your product, more about your services, because you just shared a story it could be a story as simple as an experience you have with a customer or a story on how you started in the business. You know, this morning, um, as we were talking, I shared a story when I was uh, doing membership uh, sales at the Oshai Chamber of Commerce. I met a small business, really small business, had a storefront retail and they had some struggles. And that story really enlightened me to how to become this networker that I do, how to come out there and support local small businesses. So my heart and passion is with those small businesses. And right now, you know, we're working on a prod, uh, on a program to help small home-based businesses because you know I'm a product of that. You know, my mom um, had a full-time work as a, uh, work at the, as a baker at Mercy Hospital. So she was the main baker at the hospital. And guess what she did when she was at home? Being a single parent with three kids. She would go out there and hustle gigs. I never knew my mom, never looked at my mom as a hustler, but she would do wedding cakes, special catering jobs, special baking, uh, anything to do with baking, because that was her passion. So she was an entrepreneur um, and she supported and raised three kids. So I'm really proud of my mom, what she did, and, and never knew what you know she really did until I saw here and now working with the Small Business Development Center, you know, our whole goal and what my focus is, how do you help out those people that were like my mom, that home-based business and elevate them to the next level. So we told a story today about a bakery that had some struggles in their business, but they weren't connected with resources and they had to go down a path that was what I would never advise a business to do, but it's all because they weren't prepared, they weren't financially stable, they weren't business stable, uh, understanding the system. But, you know, you know, four things in business, you should always have a relationship with a corporate attorney, with a CPA bookkeeper, a banker, and an insurance agent. So what happens when you get in a situation and any struggles that happens in a business, um, you will have that challenge. It's good to know these people. So we talk about stories and I share that story sometimes to show that, you know, a business will have challenges and who comes up to the plate that will help that business and or that business will learn from that mistake. So if somebody's in a business and doesn't have that financial savviness and they run into a situation where they need a quick cash to repair something, equipment at the shop or equipment at the work or have a, 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 some downturn in sales and they had a quick access to money. If you have a, a good relationship with your banker, bookkeeper, CPA, um, you could find a way to get that financing done and not have to go to resort to uh, some hard money loan, which is, you know, 20% interest rate, cash advancing, this and that. So those stories are what led me to be more of a, more, I don't wanna say activist, but more of how do we support businesses? You know, my, my strength is businesses. You know, people that know me know that I spent 20 years as a commercial photographer. It's always, for the most part of the beginning was I was trying to make a business out of it and I failed, bluntly. You know, I resorted, I had to give up my dream of doing photography, owning a studio and being this, you know, photographer per se. And I went and got a job as a banker, you know, as a customer service rep. But, you know, that was my rebranding or rebranding or rebirth stage because 
I became a banker. Well, people don't know me. I spent, you know, at Union Bank, but now is U.S. Bank. But I worked my way up to be a, a manager, or vice president of, of a loan portfolio that I was managing. It was a great experience. And guess what I was doing on the side? I was doing gig work. I was still doing photography. I was still, I love photography. It's always going to be a part of me and I never going to let that go. But um, as we developed that story, um, I left my banking career to raise for my daughters at home and be a full-time dad and home-based business doing photography. So that story, again, in addition to my mom's story and the story I had about this this retailer that ran into trouble, what leads me here to where we're at is let's be an advocate for small businesses, be an advocate for that home-based business, do what we can to educate and elevate that, that small business to the next level. And I'm proud to be part of the SBDC, the Small Business Development Center, because that's what we're doing. So we're out there advising those small businesses how to bump up to that next level. So I do this in the community on my own and with SBDC. But today in Cafecito, we were sharing stories because the whole thing about stories is to connect with people. And if you're a business person or selling something or service, of course you want to persuade that person to invest in you. Um, but it's not going to happen overnight. It's that relationship building. And, you, and then that breakthrough is going to happen. You know, we get that we get that story, you find the problem, and you, you're persistent in sharing that story, um, that problem in your story. You got to paint that picture of what that problem or that opportunity or the advantage that you bring to the table. And then you close the story with that proposal right how was the, the hero of the story how did they succeed you know all those stories so storytelling is king um, and that's why I spent a little bit of time it's a lot, little longer video and it's a small tidbit you know I'm not this guru of what it is I'm just a very organic person that shares stories of what I hear and what I see and what I learn learn my experience but you know Cafecito is something that's near dear to my heart those that know me, uh, I've been in North County, Scott, since the uh, 80s, 90s, and I'm really passionate about North County, but I am a Chula Vista boy at heart, graduate of Chula, uh, and also uh, I was an instructor, professor at South Fisher College down here in Chula Vista. Um, most recently, I was teaching at John Paul Catholic University, where I had the opportunity to, to teach, you know, graduating students how to start businesses, you know, from graphic design to film to photography to what have you. So it's always been a passion to, to give. And here I am telling you this story because, you know, we give in the community what we do. But, you know, my business brands have always been my Sandy North County and the, my, and the Capsito business directors. So we encourage you to come support what we're doing. If you need some backlinks and social media marketing and even some visual marketing support, that's what My City North County is doing for the North County region. And that's what we do with Cafecito in the San Diego region. So uh, I'm probably one of the uh, few people that knows Chula Vista, knows South Bay, but I know North County really well. Um, you know, my business card says I, I call, we call myself the digital mayor of North County because I promote all four cities. I pay membership in all the chambers of commerce for the most part in North County. Um, I can't do them all. I'm not that rich, you know, but from Poway, Fallbrook, and Carlsbad is my quadrant that I focus. I love Solana Beach Chamber and Encinitas Chamber. They're doing some great stuff over there. Of course, I work at the Oceanside Chamber, um, but from Fallbrook Chamber, Poway Chamber, great stuff. Escondido, a little transition, but they're a great organization and we've got great volunteers working on that. And of course, you know, I got an office space out there where the Carls, where the Vista Chamber is at at the Film Hub my home base right there but san marco's doing some great stuff so um funny thing is i'm still active in the national city chamber of commerce so we just had somebody from national city chamber chamber of commerce join us this morning but it's all about these stories you know telling these people supporting these individuals and we're gonna have a big launch that's gonna be coming out in, in this next couple of months is we're starting it's called the latino business coalition but the whole focus is how do we support those small businesses um, and any business that's serving the Latino community. So regardless of ethnicity, if you have a business and part of your customer base is Latino or you have a product that's Latino focused or you have a service that, that we want to help those individuals, you know, get to that level that they want to get to. You know, everybody comes in at different levels, but the whole idea is you don't know what you don't know. We want to be able to platform to support those people that don't know what they don't know and share that information. But we don't just stop there. The Latino Business Coalition will also be helping and supporting local nonprofits. Because the difference between a nonprofit and a for-profit business is a tax status for the most part. We still have expenses. We still have payroll. We're still promoting a service or a product. It's just a, our tax status is the major difference between the two. Regardless if it's education, health, or business, or community service, or social services, um, not the only difference between that and a business is the tax ash usually. You know, we still have the same gas and electric bill, right? We still put gas in our car the same way, 
but uh, we want to help those nonprofits as well and, and show them and, and share with them any resources. So today was a storytelling st sample. Uh, we tell stories to send our message. And that's what we are. So this is David Z. I'm asking you support if you're in North County, join our online directory in North County. If you're in San Diego, we have a profile directory. It's called Cafecito Business Online Directory. So you can find those at cafecitobusiness.com. We've been going strong for eight years. So we're celebrating our eighth year, uh, as a matter of fact, in April. Uh, My San North County. And believe it or not, we got 20,000 plus people following us on, on, on My San North County. The social media page, Facebook, I actually started it 10 years ago, not knowing that I was going to take it to this level, but we are here. It's an online directory of a group of people that invest and want to share their message, want to be part of online presence, and want to get some backlinks and marketing support. Um, I'm always going to be a visual marketer at heart. Between a camera, between video, between iPhones, we make this happen. We tell stories. I would like to tell stories visually. So if you see me on my social media pages, see what we're doing. Uh, I'm blessed and thankful to everybody that comes and supports me in my crazy ventures, my ideas, my posts, my reels, um, but also talking about other friends. You know, most recently, of course, uh, our friends always be our heart is um, Frito's Taqueria opened up at the location. Great story about that family. And we shared that story online, doing visually, right? You know, my next story is going to happen in April is I'm going to be taking off and do a 300 mile walk through Spain called Camino Santiago. Don't have time to do all the 450 plus miles, but I'm going to take the first half and the second and the last half and take a bus ride in between. So a little, little shortcut, but um, I wish I had more time to do everything else we want to do. So again, spread some love, be positive, be ethical, um, and share some love with that next business that you have. Best thing we can ever do a business that we can't, if we don't, can't financially support them, support them by introductions, support them by referring, support them by recommendations, uh, support them by going online and click their posts, share their posts. Um, that's what we do. Okay, so this is David Z, long story. We've been out here for a while, like a 10 minute re video. If you went this far, do I appreciate you. <laughs> so come on out here, search us for Cavacito Business Online. We're here every day somewhere on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> I take it back on the fourth week. We do a Monday, not a Tuesday, because I got to come in with the Fallbrook Chamber on that Tuesday. So support your local business, support your local Chamber of Commerce. If you have a business or you have an idea about a business or you want to get your business to the next level, go visit Small Business Development Center at, um, online. Just do a search for SBDC on, on Google search. It'll get you right to the platform. Um, we are here. This is David Z signing out. Welcome, everybody. And again, you're welcome for watching us. Take care of yourself. Peace out. Appreciate it.